Hey everybody, so my goal for this video is to show you how you can put a crosser puzzle into Canvas and also create it so that it's a graded, a self-graded quiz. This is what my end product is, what I want it to look like for you. So I'm going to preview this quiz. So if a kid were to take this quiz, it's on numbers 1 through 10 in Spanish. If they see this crosser puzzle here, here are the clues. Normally my crosser puzzles have more to them than this. And then what I did down here is I put the across or horizontal here and then the vertical here. So the students would just type in uh, their answers down here. Now, the reason for doing a crossword puzzle is actually it's kind of beneficial for the students because with crossword labs where I made this crossword puzzle, if, if you type in your answer cinco and you get it correct, it marks it with the green check mark. So it's kind of like a way for a student to know that they have the right answer before submitting it down. So uh, I'll just give all of the answers here. I think I'll get one wrong so that you guys can see um, what that looks like as well. I'll get number eight wrong. Uh, there, trace. Eh. Okay, so submit. So you'll notice I got nine out of ten points. I made the quiz worth ten points because there were ten questions. And then down here at the bottom, it, oh, it doesn't show me which one I got wrong. I must have messed that up on the on the settings for the quiz. But anyway, that's kind of what would happen. And then the teacher could go in and see their score on the quiz. Obviously, a student ideally would look at their answers on this crossword puzzle prior to putting them down here in this box, because then they would know that they're getting them all correct. So let's show you how we can make this quiz. First thing you want to do is create your quiz on Crossword Labs, obviously. If you need help with doing that, I do have a video on my channel that can help you use Crossword Labs. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Once you've finished making your crossword puzzle, and the screen comes up, you're going to want to click on the share button and then get this embed code right here. So I'm going to click copy. And you're going to want to leave this open, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay. So come back. So when you go into Canvas and you click to create a new quiz um, and you come into the quiz screen right here, you're going to want to click the edit button. And then over here in the bottom right, there's this little button. It looks it has the greater than and less than sign on it. Click that, and that brings up the HTML. So I'm going to paste the code, the HTML code, to my crossword puzzle that I just copied in here. I already have mine done, obviously, but you're going to do, uh, you can do right-click, uh, paste, or control V. And then that, and when you click this again over here, then you'll come back and you'll see the crossword puzzle show up. Go ahead and go through here and make any changes to settings, you know, amount of amount of temps and stuff like that if that you need to. Then come over here to questions. Okay, and then what you're going to have to do here is um, you're going to want to click the edit button. My crossword puzzle has 10 questions on it, so I made it with 10 points. So it'll make one, each one worth one point each. So these are all fill in the blanks. All of my answers are fill in the blanks. What you're going to want to do to help you organize it, at least this is what I suggest, is I did a cross here at the top. And then my the reason I, earlier I said keep your crossword puzzle open is because you're going to want to be able to reference it as you're making the answers. So you type in, the first one I have is two across, right? So you type in two. This right here is what the students will see on their quiz, and I'll show you that in just a second. The stuff in parentheses is where they will type their answer, and it's also a reference to you when you're filling in the answer, when you're creating the answer key. So I have all of these acrosses, two, five, six, seven, and nine, and these are my verticals right here. And when you scroll down a little bit right here where it says answers, then all of those will pop up. And these are the references again. So you click on two across, the answer for two across was Cinco, Five cross was Diaz, and so on. So put all the answers in. You can, of course, add additional possible answers if you want to. And then I'm going to click Save. And you'll come back here, and you can see that it's worth 10 points now, right? Let's preview it and see what it looks like. Now, the reason this is um, good is that when students are doing these crossword puzzles is they can check their answers pre before they even turn it in, right, with crossword labs. So... Five across is 10, so that's Diaz, right? Oops, sometimes students spell that wrong with an S. So if I put that in, that marks it with an X right here. So they should know that, oh, I don't want to put that down here in five across because they'll get it wrong. So they want to figure that out, you know, Diaz with a Z. Okay, that's correct. So I, what they should do is go through the whole crossword puzzle, make sure they have the correct answers. And we'll type them in down here. So two is Cinco and five is Diaz. So I type in all my answers and then I would submit it. And if I get them all correct, it would tell me that I got a 10 out of 10. Um, I got two out of 10 because I only submitted two answers, right? The rest of them I just left blank. And it tells you down here that I left them blank. And then obviously as a teacher, I would go into the um, 
moderate quiz or the speed grader if I wanted to, and I could see all of their grades, or I could go in the grade book, but that's for another video. That's how you do it. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you guys next time. Hasta luego.